People ask me, and that's why I say it every hour. They say, are you fake? No, everything I say, I believe. Unless I'm doing a comedy piece and it's satire. And I tell you it's satire. I don't even do a lot of satire now because it's just things are so serious. But I get pent up. I get really upset. And, and then I just let it out on air. And then sometimes when I really get upset and realize that I'm absolutely on target and that they're going to cause a civil war, kill Trump, you name it, if we don't stop them, I mean, I want to do something. It's like knowing your neighbor's house is on fire, or kids out in the street about to be run over by a truck. I mean, you get upset. I care. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, but, man, I've been in restaurants. Like I told the story, my son was only about a year old, and I'm in a restaurant, and I go to the bathroom, come back out, family, and they're going, 911, call 911, call 911, like a bunch of birds around this woman turning blue and leaning over the table, and I, I go, Heimlich Maneuver. They're like, 911, sir, we are waiting for 911. The ambulances are being called. And I'm just like, she'll be dead in four minutes. So I had to actually push these beta males and people aside. It was a little mandolin restaurant, and I had to get in there, and this woman probably weighed 250 pounds, and she was an older Down syndrome person. Well, one of the older ones I've seen, probably 40. And I got her and picked her up and got the food out. It was a big old piece of bread. It's like a huge chunk. <laughs> turns pink, turns white. Oh, and I, and I knew that they'd sue me or something because I kind of felt a rib do a little something. I mean, she was hard to get up. And they were all going, oh, thank you, you're a hero. Oh, my God, it's a wonderful. Uh, oh, is she okay? I, I, I know these are rats. Get away. I'll be sued. I can't even help anybody. You know? it's, 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 it's like when cops help people and they get sued. So it's just it's like I'm not one of those people, okay? I don't claim to be Mr. America or Captain USA or any of this stuff and have all the answers, but I'm telling you. I'm not out to get people. Let me show TV viewers who's not out to get you as well. This is on Infowars.com by Dan Lyman. Trump Farage planned massive charity rally in UK breaking parliamentary blockade. Yeah, Trump's not allowed to come speak to the parliament. American presidents aren't welcome because they don't want to be, have open borders and be globalist. I mean, how ridiculous is that when you sit back and look at all this? President to bypass politicians, raise money for British vets instead. <laughs> and look at those two guys, man. Uh, that photo, I remember I was, just, I was taking there working late at night, planning stuff right after Trump won. And she says, ah-ha, ah-ha. Compare that to photos of Hayden and uh, Crapper, Brennan, and uh, other miscreant creatures, and, 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 and little know-it-all twits like Crystal. Just compare that. Look at the arrogance. Can you imagine... Okay, I told you the big news is coming up. I need to settle down. I'm not going to apologize for earlier because it's it's what we need to be doing, getting upset. It's, it's some really good things are happening. Overall, things are very, very positive, but they're still so dangerous. It's like you look at your son or your daughter that's doing good in school, working out hard, loves God, strong, and you it makes you love them that much more and worry about it that much more. So I'm worried about the prodigal sons here because let me tell you, the, the amount of movement and the bunkers being built and Obama moving in saying he's at war with Trump and, 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 and all the buildup to try to take the president out and, and CIA people saying he's an enemy agent, he's a, quote, domestic enemy and needs to be taken out on CNN. I mean, they've now hit that level. So if you're not in the streets, if you're not rallying, if you're not, don't wait for others, just go do it at your capitals, at your city halls, at your call into C-SPAN. In fact, I'm going to talk when we come back about what I know Trump should do. And Mr. President, you're really smart. They got you on a dizzying schedule trying to get your cabinet in so you can, like, actually govern, but they're going to sabotage you before that ever happens. They're, this is the big push right now. If, if Trump beats this one, they're going to diminish, and it's not going to be as bad. But this is it. I mean, my gut tells me, <clears throat> I mean, I can hardly sleep at this point. I am just completely, I mean, you know, I'm trying to control myself, okay? Because... I mean, this is it. This is it, and, and this is for all the marbles. The globalists are getting their asses kicked right now.
Look, I'm not going to sit here and say, see, I told you so, that communist Chinese style net censorship was coming to the web because it's already here. It's being announced. The way you keep the internet open and free is you get involved more than ever. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app. A new battleship in the fight. InfoWars Live, available right now. We're looking for a crew to man it. You gonna sit down and play games and be a trendy? Or are you gonna be part of history? Don't sit by and let the internet and free speech be stolen from you. Take action.